Welcome, Infotainment is a Xiaomi Mi 9T and today I'll show you how to enable and set up the portable hotspot. Now to get started, you want to pull down the notification panel and from here find the hotspot toggle, which for me is right over here, hotspot. Now once you find it, you can hold the toggle and this will take you to the settings where you can actually set things like our password, which is by default randomly generated. So let's tap on the setup portable hotspot and right off the bat it already selects the password. You can also tap on the little eye right there to view the existing password uh, which ends nicely with 69. But anyway, let's just remove this one and set our own. Now as you can see it needs to have 8 characters uh, in length minimum at which point you will be able to save. There we go. and. SSID is basically the name of the network uh, or the Wi-Fi that you will be looking for and that's basically all you really need to select here or change and the last thing that you could change is the AP band right here which is right at the bottom and you have two options you have the 2.4 which is uh, selected by default or the 5 gigahertz one uh, now if you select the 5 gigahertz and you enable your hotspot and for some reason you just don't see your uh, your Wi-Fi at all that you have created, then you will need to go back to the settings and drop it to 2.4. Uh, older devices will not support the uh, 5 gigahertz AP band, uh, older meaning like 3 years and below. Um, but mm, basically everything nowadays supports it. Uh, so if you have a relatively new device that you will be trying to connect to, then it should most likely support it. But like I said, if it doesn't, then you can just drop it down to 2.4 and everything should work fine. So once you have selected all uh, all the settings right here, you can tap on check mark and go back to the toggle right over here. Simply tap on it to enable it. And it gives you a notification that uh, hotspot is now active. So that is how you would enable it. And once you're done with it, again, you can just simply pull down the notification, find the toggle again, and simply tap on it once more to disable it. Now, that being said, if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.